Welcome today to another episode of Ear to the Street right here on 97.9 The Beat. And you know, my favorite Ear to the Streets, Papa Ron, be like, when it be from the gang right here from the city, bro. Absolutely. Like, like it's cool to break records, you know, big record from here, record from there. But when if it's, it's one of our own, that give me like a special feeling, you know what I'm saying? And not just that, the last time that I saw my next, my next guest, the last time I saw him, I was literally doing like Sundays 9 to 12. Mm -hmm. You weren't where you're at now. I was fighting for my life. Thanks. Yeah. You're at the bottom of the totem pole. Yeah, I was at the bottom of the totem pole. Oh, man. Yeah, it wasn't always fucking ocean breezes and, and, and bright sun, you know what I'm saying? I can do it. But so we both came out on the other end. I think that on the other end now, we both are that much more stronger, that much more wiser, and that much more in tune. Let's give it up for my brother. Go, yeah, yeah, y'all. Yeah, I'm bike, I'm bike. Glad to be bike, back. My boy. Appreciate y'all having me for sure. Hey, so for a while we was just like free yayo, free yayo, free yayo, free yayo. And that's backwards. Yeah. It yeah. costs. Yeah, free. <laughs> and it costs. Yeah, free it and costs. it costs. Yeah, yeah, for sure. How you been feeling? Man, I'm just happy to be home, back to get back to my family, my kids, my friends. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. But so, I heard you was, you was bossing up while you was gone too. Oh, for sure. <laughs> you <tell your> boss. <laughs> I just, you know, when he put you in a situation, you got to come out on top. That's how that you know works. I'm saying? I'm a lion. You throw me in the jungle, I'm going to come back a beast. That's animal. how that works. I had to run it. It's that's just, how that it's just, That's just how I was designed. Right. Fight or die. Nah, for sure. Buy the die. So we don't do no dime. We nah, we eat. don't do that. That's what I'm saying, dog. It literally, we, 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 we eat what we kill. Like, that's that's the hustler mentality, bro. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So, so what was what was it like for you, bro? Can I cuss on this? Yeah, you can say it. I'm just making sure yeah, I had yeah, I don't yeah, know if yeah, I was yeah, radio yeah, professional yeah, yeah. Nah, they or just like like was back then. All right, we bike for shit. We doing this our way. You asked me what was prison like? Yeah. It's prison for sure. Right, not pleasant. It's, it's prison for right. sure, but you know, I'm gonna make the best of everything, but I really just took that time to like get my mind right. I did my body right, kinda kinda decent. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I got yeah, my yeah. weight up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it was like I said, it's just it ain't nowhere you wanna be at. But you know, I'm from the streets, so it is like, you know, I've been going to jail a long time, that's but it. I'm just glad it's my last time. Right. I like that. I for like sure, that. Yo, is, is, is it true you're doing like 50, you could do 1,500 push ups in like 45 minutes? I can that's do, I can true, do right? 1,545 minutes for sure. For real? For sure, so. We're Come not going to No, 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 no. We're going to cheer, bro. He ain't he come that? outside. No, I believe you. I'm just saying he ain't come outside and do all this shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, we ain't chilling right saying, now. I'm just saying. I was like, I, I, mean, I ain't going to break out no push ups. I'm saying I'm going to do this shit. No, no, because you know what? I'm going to keep it above with you. I was I was kind of feeling like what he said. He said, when I first got in there, bro, it was like, I was struggling to do like 10, 15 real quick. That's how it be when you first get, when you first get back. Them 10, 15 be feeling like hell, no day. He be like, ah, shit. But fifteen hundred forty five minutes. I don't think I ever did that. Nah, that shit is insane. You, all you really need, all you really need, is a a, a good driver and, and some good music. Yeah, I was yeah. on that young and boy some ESTG. Yeah, sometimes some for sure. Yeah. Some times important. Now I did a lot of times just locked behind the door to where it just it's nothing to do. Once you in a twenty four hours in a cell, then you that twenty four hours turn into a week, and then that week turn into a month, and that right. month turn into five right. six months. You don't got nothing to do, right. so you just breaking off doing push ups for nothing. Now you on your celly like, well, nigga, I can do way more yeah, than yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, we making a conversation. How many can there? you do straight? Right. Fuck, and I'm gonna do hundred and fifty right. straight. Well, right. now I'm doing hundred and fifty two straight. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just go like that. So let me ask you this: I know you was locked up with a lot of people that was doing like. Uh, a 40 ball, a 30 ball, Football some numbers. lifers, you know what I'm saying? Like uh. big numbers, bro. Like, did they give you like any like advice while you was there? Yeah, actually, I was locked up with a dude named Richard Pena. He from New Orleans. We really a uh, Dominican, but he from New Orleans. He was like uh, a behind the scene dude for a lot of the artists that came out of New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? Like the Peas and the Birdman yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He got 14 life sentences. He ain't never coming home. He he is the father of Cain and Abel. The twins, the they twins, yeah, 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 that's yeah, their yeah. daddy, Richard Pena. Yeah. Really? So, boom, you know, he got his hand in the music business. He's still writing movies from jail. He wrote the movie Cut Those City that came out about New Orleans. Yeah, yeah, I know. He yeah. wrote that movie, right? He in tune with a lot of people. So, he was a big influence when it came to just stay focused because he was in there like, man, you don't be writing no music. And I'm like, man, I don't ever write, man. I read I'll freestyle. I freestyle. Yeah. He was like, so you telling me every song you make, you just freestyle. I'm like, yeah, I freestyle. He was like, so what you doing with your time? I said, man, I'm just, I'm thugging, I'm jailing. He was like, nah, you, know, you need to get your mind right. I see it in you. You got the chance to be a millionaire. I raised millionaires. So he's like, I can see that you got the potential, but I also see you got the potential to be me. And I'm like, what you mean? He was like, I got life since I got 14. I, 14 life since I ain't never coming home. I can see that for you, the way you act. And I can see you having that money too. You know what I'm saying? I can yeah. see you having the racks. So he's like, he's like, Right now, I had to make a choice. He said, it started here. 
He said, because a lot of people say what they're going to do, but if they don't start putting action toward it in her, they're not going to do it when they get out. Right. So I had to start changing my way of thinking inside of prison. Just I know how to take a situation now, I think, for everybody. See, in prison, I'm in a car, so I can't just think for myself. It's not like TDC or just mm -hmm. in the world where I punch somebody in their mouth and it only affect me. I hit somebody in their mouth, I hear it, if it's another car, another race, another gang, it's going to set the right. whole shit up. And right. if it get big enough, it can set the whole BLP up. Because right. the BLP not that big. Right. Right. So, but before, listen, before you go on, just for people that don't know, explain to them what a car is, because a lot of people don't know what that is. A car is, is like uh, who you run with. Right. Mm -hmm. So I was in a Texas car. I'm from Texas. Right. In the Texas car, we ended up running with the South car, which is 11 states, you know, all the southern states. Mm -hmm. So I ended up being a speaker for the South car. You know what I'm saying? I was like the third youngest person in the car, but the old head seen that it's a lot of young dudes that's coming around and the people and that's like... Well. Yeah, and then a lot of people yeah. that's 30, 32 years old, 33 years old, they still got young minds. Right. If you lock somebody up that's 18 or lock somebody up at 20, even 10 years later, they still got a 20-year-old mindset because they haven't lived yep. 20 years of life in the free world yep. as in prison. Nah, no, no, the car, the car. Oh, yeah, but uh, like I was saying, so it put me in a good position to where, like I said, I just really had to change my way of thinking and my mindset. That's what really prison did yeah. for me. Yeah, I, I see it in you, though. I, I looked at a couple interviews and just the, the way you talk in, the, the look in your eye, like a lot has changed about you. And I noticed that in one of the interviews they asked, they was like, you know, do you see yourself going back to the uh, to the gold hair? And you was kind of like, you know, I don't I don't regret anything that I've done. It's a part of who I am. But this is me now. Yeah. And then not 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 murder gang now? It's nah, money gang. So talk really to me good. about that. Uh I just like I said, I wanna just separate myself from a lot of bullshit. Mm. You feel me? The it's energy. Just, yeah, it's just like I, I really believe in the tongue, the power of the tongue and then just the vibe you put out. Like if you really keep wishing for something, it'll happen, which mm -hmm. is good or bad. Right. And I don't want nothing bad coming to right. me or the people around me because How long you been believing that? Uh, about a few years now. Probably well, like recently, I, right? I say I ain't even gonna say, about two years. I don't think you you had that on you before. Before I left, yeah. of course not. Yeah, I was on yeah. bush, yeah. Nah, <laughs> right? <laughs> and before I left, I was on some wild shit, like some crazy crash and shit. You know what I'm saying? I just didn't realize how big I was, and I ain't gonna say I didn't realize how big I was. I knew it. I just didn't no, believe you know it what? all Let's the way. Let's stay right there for a second, because I remember I used to talk to bro. I can't say bro name no more because whatever. But I used to talk to bro, and I would literally tell him that, bro. I'd be like. Man, it's just he's so dope. I said, but I don't think he realizes how mm -hmm. dope he is and how much influence and power he has over other people. Thanks. Nah, it's just I can see it. Just I don't want to blame my city because I took I like to take accountability for my own action, but just the environment I'm in and where but I'm that from, that I just you, bro. I couldn't I couldn't yeah. see past it. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm lead, I knew I was crazy. I'm going to LA, I'm going to New York, I'm going to Atlanta, even Houston. And I love it here and I'm like, man, I love it here, but in this I can really get homesick. I couldn't stay there longer than a week. I stayed in a month in LA, thought I was just going through it. I want to go back that? to Fort Worth. I what don't you, know. What do you think? I think the streets just had they they clouds in me. You. I'm yeah. saying it was just in me. Yeah. But now they just sent me to Florence, Colorado. They sent me in the middle of a mountain, a straight hick town. Is that the Supermax? Yeah, it's the Supermax. Super but Max. I wasn't Is that the one where Chapo was That's where Chapo, but yeah. he next door. I wasn't at the same My cousin was at the one next door with the one where Chapo was at. Yeah, yeah. that's where he probably yeah. lived with me. Yeah. But it's just, now that they took me in Colorado and it's just like, I've been gone. It's the longest I've ever been away from my city. It's like I broke the hole for some reason. I broke the hole. It's like I couldn't, now I could care less about being here. I love her, but I want to, do good here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everything I did in the city of Fort Worth, Dallas, in the surrounding city, it was all bad. Right. I did probably, only thing best I ever did was like do music and give away some turkeys or bikes and tours. I think clothes. your heart was in the right place. Yeah, but sometimes. You just wasn't really sure what direction you was going. Yeah, sometimes it's just not enough though. Yeah. Your intentions is what you intended to do and what happened is what is what matter. Even though I yeah, intended this I to happen, I didn't intend to kill twenty people, but right. I ended up killing twenty people. I'm going to jail. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's just your actions got to speak louder than what your heart is or your words say. It's just what you do. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Right. That's a fight. You're staying sure. on business. Yeah, yeah. All right, you, you look like you're in deep thought right now. What you thinking, <laughs> I'm just, bro? I'm proud of this dude, man. Yo, I was me too, like, bro. I the beginning, bro, and I was like... Me too. Look, I was sitting in the crib yesterday, right? And I'm just kind of like, I always, you know, kind of study for my uh, for my interviews, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of get caught up, make sure I'm, I'm 
pretty up on most of your, you know what I'm saying? I was like, maybe I missed something, maybe, you know what I mean? I'm pro, right? So I'm sitting there, I'm gassing, I'm chilling, and I'm looking at the screen, and I'm watching other interviews of you, and I'm just going back to the other stuff, and I'm just like, yo, this is like a whole nother nigga, bro. <laughs> Who the fuck <laughs> is well, this I'm dude, at bro? The I'm like, that's my, all I'm sitting there, I'm smoking, and I'm just like, and I'm, I'm looking at the, you know how like, like when you have a deep thought, and you look at, you look at your blunt, and you're like, I look at the blunt, I look back up at the screen, and I'm like, yo, who the fuck is this dude, dog? This attitude, yeah. this this go yeah, yo, this is the one that's going to take him to where we wanted him to go in the first place. Thanks. But it, it, you had to take that detour, I feel like. Yeah, that was a goal of mine in prison. Yeah. Like, I want to come home unrecognizable. I don't want people to see me and see the old me at all. Mm -hmm. Like you said about the hair, that's another reason I didn't grow my You know, a lot of people grow yeah. their hair in prison. Yeah. That's the reason I didn't grow my hair, because I didn't want to be associated with the old me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I said, I don't just regret my past, but I just want to move past, past it. Past it, right. You see? So with that behind us, let's talk about the new Yale. Yeah. The new Who Yale? Who is this guy? This is me. Yeah. <laughs> this is me. Love me or hate me. This is me. This is me, man. So what what I I, I we got a couple records out. One of them we're premiering here today. Oh yeah, for sure. This is one. This is actually the second song I recorded getting out of prison. It's called Seven Days. You know what I'm saying? Just a I wanted a lot of people expected my first song to be just like a freestyle or something like that, but a first day out. Yeah, I wanted to yeah. just get right into the music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't want to just I'm gonna ease y'all into it. You know what I'm saying? Like my journey. Yeah, I don't want to just give it to you in one song and then y'all be like, all right, we, we, we tired, we tired yeah, of hearing yeah, about yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want to give you everything. So this is more like a fun record. You know what I'm saying? This is more like for the club, something for the radio. This is just to get the business going. You know what I'm saying? I really like this record a lot. All right. We're going to introduce it for the first time ever being heard by your fans right here on 97.9 to be. Oh, yeah, 97.9. We bike. It's your boy Go Yeah Yo. This is my new single, Seven Days a Week. Let's go. For sure, you got to hear it first gang, gang, hey, hey, on 97.9 with Hollywood. Hold on, Rock. Gang, gang. Slap, slap. Hey, kill them up a tree. Murder gang. Hey, yo. I'm Bowie gang. Gang. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. gang, gang. Seven days a week, we slide every day. Big record seven right here in the city is called Seven so Days from the Gang. Go Yeah Yo, we still got him in the studio with him. Fooly, we fooling with him. All right, this, this yeah. new Go Yeah Yo is like Yeah Yo 2.0. I'm, really, I'm, I'm digging yeah -Oh this. Yeah Yo 2.0, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Now, look, I know you got a few things that, that, that you want to talk about, too. Man, you got any questions for Go Yeah Yo? Man, we know it ain't no secret that you, you and, and, and Chucky issue like a whole new sound of the funk. Facts. When when y'all came uh, and y'all stepped up, Chuck ain't been on scene for a while, and they hear from this kid out of nowhere, the, the boom guy, they just you know just going <laughs> crazy, bro. How do you feel like your your presence has had a, an effect on your city? Uh, get money, little Ronnie just found me. I believe I was like 15 when he put me into the rap mm -hmm. game. I was bad as hell. Facts. I had just got shot. My cousin has died. I wasn't doing nothing but thugging and just gang gang. So it's just like when, you know, he's seven years older than me. So he put me in a new crowd of people. He took me away from that and just put me with him and whoever he was with. Mm -hmm. So now I'm with older people. My mindset just can't be. Don't get twisted. I'm still thugging because they still thugging. Right. But it's just a difference. Now it's right. just they taught me just not to be just so wild. So like I had more strategic now. Yeah, put a yeah. little strategy with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when it came to the rapping, I remember one day he just woke up and was like, man, we ain't writing no more. We just freestyling. So, you know, I feel like I ain't trying to knock the people that write their music, but I just feel like when you writing, it's just not as passionate because when I'm coming off the top of my head, like I don't, I'm not thinking about what I'm saying. It's just flowing out yeah. of me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just flowing. When I get to going, I get to going. You know what I'm saying? It's like a train. You know, the train just then once it get going, it's hard to stop a train. You know what I'm saying? It's that's it's so that's why I'm going it. Because I know, like I think everybody I know at this point, at this moment is just punching in. Like I don't know nobody that's, you know, writing it down no more. For sure. So, I think that's the big way right now. You just gotta punch it in. I think just it's go. more fun that way. It's, it's way more fun, fun that way. It's way I feel like it's more strategic when you sit up here doing like this. You know bounce what I'm saying? Ounce, yeah. And you're just trying to rhyme words like it kind of take away from it. I think it's more passionate when you do it all Even the with your delivery. Yeah, Sometimes yeah, it might yeah, sound yeah, like yeah, you yeah, reading yeah, it. Yeah. I can't get to her. I can't put that in there when yeah. I'm writing. Or yeah. if you write it, you might forget how you was going, to, how you were supposed to deliver it. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So we had in, four, in the city of Fort Worth, because you know, I'm from the murder. Right. So we got Twisted Black. 
Facts. The greatest Shout out to Twisted Black. Shout, Shout out to Twisted, Twisted Black. Black. You know what I'm saying? Beat the feds, came home, Facts. gave that time back. Salute to that man. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. He the king of the funk. That's a fact. I'm king of the murder. You know what I'm saying? That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, let me see. I was like, let me see where he's going. Let me see where he's going with this. Let me see where he's going. Yeah. Nah, I love, I love Black. I love Black. I got a lot of respect for him. I got yeah. a lot of respect for him. And uh, but like I said, he the greatest storyteller mm. ever. No one better than Twisted Black. Greatest Facts. storyteller, Facts. period. Facts. You know what I'm saying? He's he's a person that likes to write his music, but it's just two different vibes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you listen to Twisted Black, he giving you some knowledge, some learning. I'm trying to pick up that for my new shit. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna I get... see that in you when you talking now, though. Like yeah. the way the way you speak now, it's like it's always like every conversation we have from you, you want to deliver. A, 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 not not a lesson, but a message. Yeah, you know I what I mean. Not a lesson because it's not preachy. It's it's like a message. It's like, hey, take this with you. You might need it later. <laughs> nah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like that. I like yeah. that. It's just uh, I think you know where they come from. I think before I speak now. I see that. You see me? I, like, see I know not to just blurt stuff out. I like to think before I yeah. speak because, like I said, words is powerful. And they that travel power. a long yeah, way. Yeah. But I think after Twisted Black, I think like the biggest act we had in my city was Trap Squad Cartel. Mm -hmm. This is more clubby, fun music. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate that, cool, you play You feel me? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to them folks. Right. And then it's me. And I came up on the Get Money Little Run and Get Stash Lizette. You know what I'm saying? When they came out, they were still kind of more of a party wave, too. You know what I'm saying? Clubbing, but it was kind of more gangster. It was, it was getting gangster. back to the more gangster Agreed. shit. They talking about the streets, Agreed. trapping. Agreed. You know what I'm saying? Chucky was the first person shooting music videos. Mm -hmm. and, you know, they having wops in them. They showing, wow. they showing the trap. Yeah. So you come with me. I was young, and I was just like the, like the, like he used to always call me his pit bull. I was just like the young attack dog. I yeah. was just, I'm on bullshit. Yeah. So when I took it to the music, you know, I went to, I had went to jail again. Yeah. I had an attempted murder charge. I ended up beating it. I come back. You know, I'm rapping about what I just did. Right. And it was boom. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Wow, damn it, man. You know what I'm saying? I put that swag into Ooh, it. I think that gave a Ooh, funk. Like, it gave a yeah, What a time. Right? Like, no, it, just care, gave that, it just gave a funk that edge, bro. It did, bro. bro. Like, like, where bro. you from? Oh, he from the murder. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no count. That's for sure. That's when we went from murder work to funky town mm -hmm. to just a murder. Yeah. You know what yep. I'm saying? Yeah. Because... You know, it's a lot. I ain't, you know, it's, my city is a dangerous city, as is Dallas. Yeah. You know, it's dangerous in the DF dub, but we want to move it just from the murder now. We finna just murder the rap game. Yeah, you know what I'm absolutely. saying? We yeah. just gonna kill the music scene. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah, I like that. For sure. I show. like that. I'm digging that. <laughs> I, but I don't. I don't like. I, I feel like really because again, you gotta understand. Like, I was here when bro was like always fighting for you. And again, I got. I'm fighting for my life. I'm barely standing yeah. in there, but I'm watching him, bro. Yeah, I'm watching. You remember when you went in the crowd? And disrupted the whole dub car show. <laughs> you remember that? I was, I was, but see, that, see, that's why that's I'm, this guy, the guy with the message. That's this guy. See, but that see that situation was funny because I was dead wrong, but it looked so good for yeah, my it career. Did. It, <laughs> did. No, okay. it did. Because it did. I, I, I'm gonna give my honest opinion. I ain't never gave nobody this opinion. Okay. So we had the dub car show, right? Uh -huh. This is, uh, what, about 2017, 2018, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. this is when Cardi B was big. She yeah. had the bow that yell, Migos yeah. was there. So they got me performing, you know what I'm saying? I'm one of the hottest acts in, in the state at this time. Yeah. So boom, you know, they tell me, all right, yeah, yo, you know what I'm saying? We got you on, but there's some rules out there. You know, at this yeah. time, I ain't really big on rules. So they like, come 10 people, two cars. I'm like, how am I going to fit 10 people in two cars? So I come like 30 people, 10 cars. Right. But I'm in my head, I'm thinking like, Correct. man, I'm yeah, years old, they gonna let me make it. Correct. So boom, when they say like, this is the real problem I had. They had me perform at 11 o'clock. And everybody, come on, man, we from Texas. Nobody ain't even up at 11 yeah. o'clock. The dub car <laughs> show don't start. Because, like, oh, you know, right. you know, I'm yeah. gonna say something about it because you know, I just think, bro, they I just threw think me on a couple of the 11 the o'clock. Me, Ronnie, B King, they threw us on a couple of the 11 o'clock. So we used to be like, so I feel it. You feel it? It's like, I, I want to be there when I, I want to perform think, honestly, in the crowd. Honestly, in, in, in bro's defense, like, I just think he didn't know, bro. He didn't. He didn't know. I just know. think that's honestly because if he didn't, if he, I'm just saying, if he did know, he would have changed the lineup to know what these certain acts are going to do. It's just but, bad you know, deal. Because, they, my, not to cut you off, excuse yeah. me, but uh, they're coming from a, a different mindset. Like, the people they had on, they had a lot of the... Uh, the screwed up clicks and you know the big young I mean I slim thugs excuse me and 
Mike Jones, Power Walls. You know and respect these, to these them. guys is legends. Yes. But their music right now is not hitting as it's hard as what's going on in the DFW. That's all I was saying. We have a great music scene. That's all I was saying. Respect so, to them. Is it respect? You know what I'm saying? So Absolutely. I'm not trying to put belittle them by putting myself up. I'm just, I'm just stating the fact. In that moment. In that, that moment, time, Go Yayo yeah, is the hottest street. And then the type of music facts. I make is crowd jumping. I'm and jumping in the crowd. That, that boom record would come on, bro, in the club, anywhere. It's crazy. That would literally change the spirit in a room completely. Promise, bro, every time I play Boom or Demi Man or even Gang Gang, yeah. like every time I play any one of these records, it's going to change the whole dynamic of what's going uh, yeah, on. Yeah, what's going bro. on. Yeah. Every time. Every time. This is like the type of scene y'all want. This is great for the dub car show and the radio station. So they told me that I was going to post a beat at 10 <laughs> go on at 11. I show up at 11 just so I can be late to be like, all right, I'm here. Yeah. Put me on now. <laughs> He's like, I yeah. did it on purpose. You still it. Y'all got me, bro. <laughs> but, yeah. but it didn't work like that. I pulled, though they got the police waiting for me, escorted yeah. me through to the princess. So yeah. they didn't let me in through the front. So I just, you know what I did? I got to be me. I paid for everybody with me going. We walked through the front door. Now I'm on bullshit. Right. So, but I ain't even not on bullshit. Like, I want to fight or nothing. I'm on bullshit. Like, nah, I got to see this. Yeah. So, boom. So we come through, we walk through the crowd. So that's how you made it out there. Yeah, I, I walked never through knew the front that. of the I crowd. Never knew that. I got I was, so, like, I, was, I was like, how do you end up in the crowd? And you know, I said, nephew, you recorded this. Everybody yeah. seen me, you know, they swarm me, attack me. We got to push them back. Come on, but you know, I love it. So now I'm in my mode, you know what I mean? Full Yale mode. Superstore. So we get to the backstage, you know what I'm saying? I finally sneak backstage, put my little nine people back there. It was this woman that worked for uh. Dirty Water Records. Yeah. I can't remember her name right now. So was there. She yeah. worked it out. Then my boy, another man we cannot name, he grabbed a microphone. Right. And it was like, we don't know if we can get the beat on right now, but we can get you on this stage right now for about uh, one minute. So what right. can you do? I said, one minute is so, way too long. I can do it. All I need was 10 seconds. Look, I got first. on that stage. I got on that stage. I apologize to everybody for being late. Apologize to the Ooh, network. I remember that. I remember that. Then I rap Boom, Acapella, and they sung it word for word. And they screaming. I jumped in the crowd, and it was that. That's it. The Migos start performing. I was in the crowd. I'm just turning up to the Migos song, but the people they trying to they trying to rip me out of my clothes. But I just wanted to show them, like, come on, we got our own stars right here. Right here. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. Now it's a it's a method to my madness. But like I said, sometimes your intentions don't be don't match your actions. Right. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. You know what you say? Message. Message. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? And, and another thing that we missed on that, that was the last year that we would see the Migos perform together, together. in person. Yeah, R.P. Yeah. Tate. Yeah, yeah. That, would be that, that would be that last year. I ain't gonna lie, man. We had some monumental car shows, but that one right there, that the, one, the I think to me was one of the biggest. It was, it was yeah. crazy, bro. Yeah. That was, it was cool. insane. But let me ask you this, and, and, and we kind of spoke about this in the hallway just kind of briefly, right? Seeing what 97.9 The Beat was then, and now you coming home, what is your opinion of this this new 97.9 The Beat? Keep it a buck. Keep it a buck. I'm going to I'm gonna keep it real. When I told you, I told you I spoke when we was off camera. Mm -hmm. I was just in, in the jail cell, like I'm in like seven months. So all we got is the radio and that bitch. Boy, you was on a, uh, was it Friday or Saturday you was dropping a new shit? Night. Yeah. Truck drivers and niggas in prison yeah. love the radio. Yeah, stay in tune. Why you was on your shit with that lotto though? When I was in prison, I was listening to the radio, and I was loving it because, excuse me, shout out to you, Thank you Hollywood sir. Zay, you was dropping new records that. The radio's not really known for out here. You know what I'm saying? Radio just ain't been not known for just busting new records no more. And you doing it every day. Every night. Yeah. So where I'm hearing new songs, because I, I remember, you know, like a lot of people when we in jail, you know, you got the times you're going to listen to that R&B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. we're going to listen to the rap. Mode. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, the, the R&B I seen make grown men cry in prison. R&B thinking about they women, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They, I seen it. It was the opposite for me. When I start hearing them new records and rap songs, somebody brought down the tears to my eye because it's like, damn, I done fucked up. 
Mm. I done blew it. That's all I'm thinking in my head. I done blew it. Damn, I done blew it. This supposed to be me. This supposed to be my new record getting leaked. This supposed to be my new record going. So I'm saying it was so. That's why I, I gotta thank you, bro. You you kept me going because I it turned me in that mode. Once the sadness right. turned into anger, then the anger turned back into passion. So where I gotta get to it. I can't come home playing. I gotta drop this shit. They gotta hear this. You know, and, and I wanted to ask you that too. I wanted to ask you. I wanted to be like, you know, did you at any point kind of sit in that cell and say, damn. I fucked up, but I was like, nah, it's gonna be kind of tasteless to do that. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't want to. I didn't <laughs> want to ask you that, bro. But so the fact glad that you said it for us. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> <I bet> you, <laughs> pretty you much. It. Because I was just kind of wondering, like, what was that? What was that moment where you felt that shift when you was locked up? Because obviously, it didn't happen in day one. It didn't happen a weekend, two weeks in. Like, what was that moment? What was that specific moment when you was like, damn? Hold the fuck on, bro. I've been going about this the wrong way, or I need to do this in a different way, or whatever that thought was. Like, when was that? Like, at what point during the sentence was that? About around that time I just told you. I was sitting there, I did seven months in solitary confinement, 24 hour lockdown. I never leave this room, the light never go off. It's some evil, crazy shit that they'll do to you. Thanks. And I really sat in there like, God damn, this what I done, this what I done came to. You know what I'm saying? I used to sing that, I used to sing that Boosie so much. You know what I'm saying? Was in the palace last week with all the lights on me. Right. Now I got shackles on my feet and they tight on me. You know what I'm saying? I felt that too much. I felt it too much. So it's like I really sat down in there. And when I realized life didn't stop, that's what hurt me. Hey, Pap, come on, man. You're going cup crazy. you going cup crazy. Guy, <laughs> 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 but, uh, it just really, it really just hit me like, I threw it all away over nothing. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Over something that I feel like that now that I'm three, four years later, I couldn't give a fuck about. But it was so important in that moment. But back then, it was just like, this is, I gotta do this, right. I gotta do that. And now I'm just like, come on, man, that shit petty. That shit petty it ain't about no money. Mm. It ain't damn, it ain't about my family or nothing. The stuff that's really important to me. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what you gotta realize in life. What's really important to you? That's a fact. Because if you put this, you make this important to you, how far is it really going to take you? Right. Right. Let me ask you this. Boom. You get a release date. Whole world going crazy. Yeah, you're on his way home. <laughs> Boom. Right. Here comes the day. Yeah, you're supposed to be coming out. We I, I know what you're about to say. I know what you're about to say. <laughs> And they take nigga right back in, bro. Shit. Did hey. you know that was going to happen? Or, or, did, or was you like, bro? He was truly requested by the county. Man, uh, I knew about the charges. But like I said, it's two different jurisdictions. You got right. the feds and the state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The feds usually overrun the state, Right. period. Because this is the nat Like when they say, when you in, in Texas, say Kyron Pierce versus the state of Texas. Mm -hmm. When you in the feds say Kyron Pierce versus West the United, United States, States of America. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm, when I do something to you, though, when you look at that, I'm just the trying to see. I'm just trying to see what, what I did to the rest of the 49ers. Yeah, right, right. right. <laughs> now, I, now, Texas, I can see why y'all mad. Yeah. But the other 49 yeah, yeah, states, yeah. hold on now. What I got to see what this way mad at me. Feds. <laughs> Utah. Well, I can't point Utah? some of these states out on the map. What they, what I did to them. But now, nah, it's just, I just realized I was in a, I was in a bigger <laughs> league. But like I said, I knew about the charges, but. I don't want to say nothing too crazy because I, I don't want no target on my back. I want to do. I want to do. The, I want to do the best I can to work my relationship. And we out wish everybody with nothing them. but success. You feel nothing me? but the success. Love and success. That's God it. bless. That's but it. I'm saying this is just the relationship I had with them back then is different than the one I want to be a forward. Right. Yeah. But you know they they was using me. They was making an example out of me. For sure. And that's the toughest part, bro, because it's like, you know, they'll give you some crazy numbers when they're trying to make an example out of you, bro. Like, yeah, for really. something simple that really doesn't even deserve that. Nah, exactly. for real. Something small, but... Yeah. So I just... Because they realized, they took the detainer off of me, like, super late. How did you feel, though, like, in that moment? Yeah, when you just that, thought, yeah. like, I guess that's what you... How did you feel in that moment? It's, it's like, yo, we about to... Because we on this side, like, uh, yeah, man, we, ready, we ready to go. Yeah, we finna go crazy. Man, yeah. I'm talking to my girl, I'm talking to my partners, my t Jones, everybody, like, hey, we doing this, we going private jet. Right, right, to right. To the black truck, from the black truck <laughs> to the Airbnb. Yeah. I got the barber there, I got my cousin there with yeah, the camera. Got the I got, I got yeah. the... I'm talking about call the mall, tell them to close the door, we finna tear it down, we finna have some fun. 12 days before this, they hit me at a paper at my dorm time. I remember lockdown. I'm in there by myself smoking a little cigarette. You slipped it in. You feel me? Now, 
my celly at, at work, he work in the kitchen. So I'm in there by myself just watching TV through the door because we locked down. Yeah. So boom, I got the headphones in. You know what I'm saying? They be doing their walks like every 30 yeah. minutes. So I see the walk and then I see him come back like. So I'm, I got my headphones on, so I ain't even hearing him. So he didn't have to pop the uh, slot open. Like, mm -hmm. I'm like, what's up? What's up? He was like, yeah. I would have thought early release. He's like, y'all changed your family? I'm, I'm thinking, thinking this is good early. news. Right. Yeah. Like, this is the worst news right. they give me. So then Boy. it's the person I ain't never seen before. I'm like, man, who is you? That's he never really good. Oh, like yeah, that's never good. It's Come never on, good. It's never good. came all the way you ain't you. never seen. Yeah. Like, don't you work in the front? What you right. in the back? Bro? Right. So I, he opened the door. He's like, are you Mr. Peters? I'm like, who asking? He was like, Mr. Peters, give me your number. So I say, it's a 509. He's like, oh, yeah, that's you. Uh, Man. Man, what you mean? Nah, he man. started out with man. You lied. Like, he started out like man, that because he know this some bad yeah. news. Man, because he got my release date in his hand. Right. So this is a paper ain't seen twelve days before. So he was like, man, you got some new charges. New charges. Hold on. So now I'm super shook. Now I'm at the door, like earth to the door, like this. Like what you saying? So he was like, nah. He was like, nah. Nah, they're not new charges, but this is gonna keep you from going home. You're not leaving. Uh, you're not leaving. You uh. You got to get uh, picked up by the state. You have uh, charges out of Tarrant County, McLennan County, Grayson County. I'm like, hold on now, hold on now, hold on. Them misdemeanors. Yeah. My felonies got dropped. He was like, nah, these are felonies. So so the whole time they just took the detainers off of my felonies. Just so like, to, I guess they was just like showing. I, I can, all I can think of, they was just showing me like, hey, man, stop weird, playing with us. Weird flex. We going to stop playing with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. a weird flex. That's all it was, bro. Hey, but a flex nonetheless. Well, a flex, <laughs> a flex nonetheless. nonetheless. You know what I'm saying? Hi, Kyrie. A win is a win. <laughs> right. And they showed one. So what happened? Shit, I, they, when, he, when he gave me that paper, I sat back down in my chair, put my headphones on, wasn't nothing playing. I'm just looking at the TV. I ain't even listening to it. I'm just going crazy. Oh, so now man, everybody no. come and say it up. Hey, what's up, baby? Ready to go home, man? Get away from my door. Right. Get away right. from my door, man. I ain't, ain't going home. What you mean going? I said, man, I got to go back to the state. So once I realized that, it just realized, again, it's not where I want to be. It's not a situation I want to put myself in because I have no control. If they really just wanted to, they could have held me six, seven more months. If they wanted to on the Another court. year yeah. just fighting the cases. They don't got to give you a bond. They don't got to send you to court if they don't want to. They can send you to court reset. They send you to court reset. I've seen it happen a million times. So it's just, like I said, it's just showing me that I never want to put myself in this position again where I'm not even in control of my own life. Right. These folks picked me up one day, and I was gone for years. Right. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Right. Yeah. But the way you went out was crazy, though. The Instagram video was crazy, right? <laughs> it was. No, yeah. bro, because we like, we counted down. And you didn't know that was a fan. You know what I'm saying? Huh? You didn't know that was a fan. Nah, if I knew it was a fan, I would have never made yeah. that video. <laughs> I, can handle, I can handle it. I can handle it. I can handle the, the small ones. Yeah. The big dogs came in. You should have seen my face. You, now, that's a feeling you should have seen. Right. So when I'm thinking Ooh. it's just a, this, because I, I was getting harassed at this, at this by this time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad I'm past that, but at this time, you know what I'm saying, it's a different right. ball game. It's a different energy, so I just yeah. thought it was just something simple. I knew I had charge. I was like, oh, I'm you see what I said? Yeah. I'm be out in the morning. I'm be out in the morning. Shit. 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 Smoking his blood. Yeah. Smoking his blood. Shit. Everybody yeah. see yo yo. But now nah, yeah. when they when they Not pull for three and a half years. No, nah. like, oh, bro, I'm like, what do you do? Right. <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah. They what do you do? Right. right. And and they, I was like, come on, bro. Do you always back out? Always. I'm always right back. Yeah. Not this time. Not this time. I was like, boys, boys were about. We was like, yo. Yeah. You know, when they pulled me out the car, you know, I'm doing my you. You know, they did me crazy. I couldn't even put the hands out the window. Crawl through the window. For real. Crawl through the walk back was on your knees. Stand up. Spin till I say stop. So I'm saying, I done spin in the full circle. I done stop. Did I fucking say stop, man? I ain't doing all that. I got back on my knees. Boom. So they finally put me up. They're like, why you didn't pull over? I was like, man, I, I ain't feel safe. You know what I'm saying? I'm running that the little, running yeah, that little scheme yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where, boom, I look up. Somebody got a whole camera in my face. I'm like, man, watch out, man. Don't record me. He was like, this ain't record. He turned the camera around. It was another officer. That's the reason I went to the feds. He was like, yeah, I told you. You know what I'm saying? And I looked closer at the dude's vest. It said U.S. Marshal. My whole vibe said, hey, y'all the feds? He's like, yeah. yeah, we the feds. I said, oh, yeah, let me stop talking. Yeah. Because I was talking shit, playing, yeah, you know what yeah, Being yeah, young yeah, and dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this time, yeah, now nah, get right, yeah, yeah. Just, just don't make it deeper. Not don't dig all. the hole deeper. Yeah. But when I seen it was the feds, it just it crushed me. It should get real when the marshals come. And I, <laughs> for yeah. real, no count. They they literally hit for recovery. Thanks. Yeah.
So this is this is good, bro. I, I feel like we're in a great space. We're excited to see everything that you're going, you know what I'm saying, make shake in the next six months, three months. I think next month, like you already out here bubbling for real. <laughs> and we got to have definitely have you um, come back to, to, to host with the Toxic Boys for shit show. I love to be back for hey, sure. Hey, look, so you want to tell them a little about the Toxic Boys? He's been gone. He doesn't really, you know what I'm saying? All right, basically what Toxic Boys is, man, it's a show where we just do unconventional radio. We do radio our way. We talk about the shit we want to talk about. We play the music we want to hear, and we live the way the fuck we want to live. Yes. The Toxic Boys. That sounds like a perfect spot for your ears. You know? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You got to come back and co-host yeah. with us, bro. Yeah, you know, I'm king Fact. Toxic. Fact. Matter of fact, matter of fact, a Toxic Tip, maybe? We get a Toxic Tip, you know, just... You know, yeah. Sh- Free Freddy, by the way. Free Freddy, by nah, the way. Free, yeah, Free, Free, Freddy. Free Freddy. Freddy, got, Freddy got to do the show before. You know, he had to go do his little yeah. thing. He left us with a badass yeah. toxic tip before he left. So we need one from Yeah Years. That's fact. So this 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 is my secret weapon now. Okay. It's my secret weapon now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Say you and baby been fighting all day. Right. Mm-hmm. If you like more like me and my girl, we've been fighting all month. Ah. So boom, you know what I'm saying? Just one day, just wine and diner. You know what I'm saying, baby? Get a whole plan out. You know what I'm saying? I want you to kick with your friends. I already told your friends, tell them y'all can go out tonight about y'all a section. Like, so just go on and get ready. You know what I'm saying? Go on and get dressed, rub a little feet, lotion her down. You know what I'm saying? Wait till she get out. Baby, let me get a picture for you in the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Why the water running, baby? You know, I'm finna get in the shower. You know what I'm saying? I like your makeup. And as soon as she thinks she done, you take that picture, you dunk her ass right in the toilet. <laughs> 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 Bitch, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> For sure. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's, a pers- that's a personal hey, one now. Yo. You feel me? Yo. I was waiting for the twist, though. I was, though. I was like, wait. This yeah, yo, like, uh, wait, there's got to be a twist here, bro. That's wild. <laughs> and that's this week's Toxic Tip of the Week. Hello.